Hey there. Have you ever wondered who is funding nonprofits like yours, like your competitors, or who's funding nonprofits you partner with? You can use Instrumental's recipient profiles to reverse search these nonprofits, dive into their funder lists in our past awards received section, and immediately tell if they have any active opportunities or dive into their 990 insights. Let's take a look at how to do this. And if I am jumping into my own account, you would start this reverse search process up here in the top left corner quick find search bar. You just click once into the quick find, and from here you would look up the nonprofit that you want to search. If I'm looking up the Maryland SPCA, you can also filter down your results to only see recipient profiles so that your results aren't cluttered with funders. From here, you click on the recipient profile that you want to dig into, and on the very right hand side, you'll see a table of contents. This is where you can jump down to past awards received and past awards received is going to be the table that lists all the funders who have given to this nonprofit. Know that we are reflecting exactly what's been submitted in the funders 990 reports. So in this table, you'll see a list of funders that have given to the Maryland SPCA, where that funder is located, how much they gave this year, and the purpose of that grant. You'll see this data in all the historical years where they've e-filed their 990s. And these are going to be all active URLs where you can immediately click into any of these funders to open up the funder profile. So maybe I'm looking at the purpose and I see that they have given for uh, adoptions, emergency relief. That's a really uh, good giving purpose that's aligned to the type of grant I'm looking for. So I'm going to click on PetSmart's charities. And in this new funder profile, it's going to show me if they have any active opportunities and all of those 990 insights. The first thing you'll want to check for is if they have active opportunities, you'll want to look at those first because these represent active RFPs where the funder is currently taking in applications. There's a very clear way to apply online. And so from here, I can read the overview and eligibility details for this opportunity. And if it looks like a good fit, then I can immediately save it to my tracker using the screen save button on the top right corner. From here, you just assign it to a project and then you can save it to your tracker directly from that reverse search. Otherwise, if you are digging into funders sometimes and they uh, don't have an active opportunity, in this case, I'll look at the CNK Clark Family Foundation. I can tell they don't have an active opportunity because there is no section that says active opportunities. It immediately jumps down to this overview. So that's when you'll know they don't have any active RFPs out right now. So instead, I recommend you look at their 990 insights, perhaps the key people if you have any warm connections. Where are the other past grantees located and what were those giving purposes? How much are they giving to new grantees? Are they even receptive to new grantees? And what are their top funding categories? Looks like they are prioritizing animal-related nonprofits, so that's a good sign. And you can still bookmark this funder to your tracker using the green plus add new button up here on top of the funder profile. And this will go about creating a custom record from this funder. So all you have to do is assign an opportunity name. Maybe we'll call it the CNK Clark grant that will assign it my own custom name. I assign it to a project and then this will save the funder ad hoc to my tracker. So now you can start to turn this into a more repeatable process where you're digging into who's funding your competitors and do they have active opportunities. And from here, you can start to build a bigger list of prospects for yourself. Another type of nonprofit you can reverse search are your own partners, because then you'll know that if you find other good fit funders who have given to your partners, then your partner could set up a warm intro. Go ahead and try this in your account now and try to reverse or search a nonprofit through the quick find and build a whole new list of prospects this way. When you come back, I encourage you as a next step to sign up for our customer kickoff trainings, which are a weekly onboarding workshop that I host sharing lots of tips and tricks for making the most out of your subscription. Let us know if you have any questions.